Hi guys, as you can see, I got my raised beds here, and I think these are around 4 by 12 or 10 feet long, I think they're 12s actually, and so what we did is Dad and I used the tractor, and we got a scoop of sand, a scoop of wood chips, and a scoop of nice topsoil, mixed it all together to make this um, combination, it's like a compost, and it works really good, we do this every year. So, we got two of them here, and I brought them over by the each side of my building, and these are going to be my little gardens here this year. So, what I did is I found some plants at the dollar store. They're actually a dollar and a quarter, and I got a whole variety here. So, I got some tomatoes. I got some marigolds. Those are the only flowers. I got some cauliflower. I got broccoli. I got... Jalapeno bell pepper, um, basil, chives, and many more. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw and make out a plan of how I want my garden to be. And I think I want to do the biggest, largest plants on the outside, like the tomatoes. Um, they're going to be viney, and I want them on the outside. That way, in case I ever need to put a post in to straighten up the plant to help it grow straight then I can do so so I'm gonna plan this out and I'll make my garden beds I'm gonna lay these out and I also have seeds as well so I'm gonna need room for them so I think I might do seeds in one and plants in another so let me figure that out all right so here's my plants I got some cucumbers I got broccoli I got cabbage I got hot peppers and I got bell peppers. So those are my non-perennials. I got some perennials there. I got some chives, marigolds, and strawberries. I'm gonna split up them chives and they go good on a salad. I, and they're not gonna be planted in here. I'm gonna plant a marigold a strawberry. And, oh, is that the swirl? I got a helper here. And she's been wanting to come out all day, so. Um, I'm going to split up my chives and then my strawberries and I'll put them out front of my building here. So I got my tomatoes all laid out here and I'm going to mark them down. I got, I got a variety of tomatoes. I got big boys, two big boy plants here. And those are like the big beefy ones that are good for slicing up to put on a hamburger. I got some cherry tomatoes which go good in a salad. And I also got some Roma tomatoes. And these are nice firm tomatoes. And then I really enjoy these. These are my favorite type of tomato. So I marked them all down in my garden here. And I'm going to... And so here they are. Um, I'm going to mark out my other plants where I want them to go. And I'm going to do some mulch and I'm going to water these daily. And, and the reason I'm doing a map, I do this every year so that I know what grows good and what I'm what type of tomato I'm picking and that way we'll get the same thing next year. So I'm going to finish marking these out and I'm going to uh, hopefully grow some good plants this year. And I'm going to randomly place to see where I want to dig. I got some bell peppers here. Make a row of these and just going to set them about where they're going to go. I got a cabbage, I got a cauliflower. Got two brocks. Got two cukes. And for the cucumbers, they're a little viney, so I'm going to be putting them on the outside here. So, cukes are these guys. Um, and so now I'm just moving around here and I'm trying to get them in a row. And I'm going to put these cucumbers on the front back edge here because they're viney and they're going to go grow big. So I want them accessible and I'm going to organize these. And then this way, by these cucumbers being out here, the vines can grow outside the box. I can um, get to them easily and they won't mess with my tomatoes.
All right, so for my perennials here, I'm gonna take my dandelion out. And I'm gonna be planting a marigold. I'm gonna split up these chives somewhere along here. And I also got this strawberry plant too. I'm gonna be giving two marigolds to dad. He's gonna be planting them over in our little garden over by the house. And um, look at that guys. So I got my plants all laid out. I'm gonna mark them on my sheet here. And then this bed, will be just for plants. And then if you swing over here, I got a, another got quite a few packets of seeds. I'm gonna be planting some rows of seeds and I'll mark that out too. So for the plants, I wanna show you how deep I'm gonna plant them. All right, so I'm gonna be growing some pumpkins and stuff that we can easily grow up here in upstate New York. And I'm gonna be using the seeds, make a little, line with my finger and uh lucky really likes these beds she likes to walk all over in them so uh for my plants here i want to show you guys and here's a tomato plant so if i'm going to plant this i'm going to do it right at the base of the plant here but at the top of this uh mulch at the top of the cup here and that's about how deep you don't want to mound it up on the plant and you don't want it uh too up above the surface and when I take them out of the cup, I like to rip the roots just to give it a little head start. And uh, there we go, guys. So I'm going to get these. And so I'm going to water these daily and I'm going to put mulch around them to keep them moist. So there you go. Okay, there's my little plan here. And so now I'm, I'm going to take all these plants off. Uh, now I know where I want to dig for each one. So I'm going to have uh, six rows of three and 18 total plants i'm gonna use the hoe get this nice and smooth uh dig a hole plant them get them the correct depth and then i'm gonna be putting mulch around them and watering them daily so hope our garden raised beds grow good this year if you guys notice this is some used duck boards that my dad and i used to build um these raised beds a couple years ago and it's just um, what is it? It's too high, too, uh, too, what are they? One by six, um, deck boards here. And it's a four by 12, I believe. Two of them we made. And we got little supports and we got rebar on the outsides because when we put all that dirt weight in it, it wants to tend to spread on the middle on the outside there and it by do, putting the rebar in it helps keep it uh all together so that it doesn't bow out and stuff like that so we got our lucky here and get these guys planted all right here's one here this is my roma tomato tomato here and get a nice hole for it Get our plant out and see, just do this a little bit with our roots and see that guys, that's a little too deep, don't want it buried under the surface, so I'm going to push a little in here, get it the crab depth and then put my dirt up around the sides here and see that, that's perfect right there, that's perfect. Um, depth in the ground and I'll put my tag in so we know what it is as well and there's aroma so I just wanted to show you guys how I did it there use the hoe and it looks pretty good all right it's coming along pretty good guys I got about half of them planted and I don't know if you can hear it but the place down the road a little has a, a band tonight. They were playing ACDC uh, songs a little bit ago. Um, what am I planting now? I'm planting, I only got one jalapeno pepper here, and that's because I don't really like them that much. But they're good if you have them with something else, you know, not too much of them. Uh, I don't get them on my sub. I get banana peppers on my sub if I was to order a sub. But uh, Dad enjoys these. They have a little kick to them. 
They're not that bad, but I'm putting tags in here anyways. And so we know. And uh, I'm getting the rocks out of here. So there we go. I just want to give you a little update. Okay, final row, planting my maters here. My aromas. Just trying to line up the rows here. And when I plant them, I'm going to get the plants nice and level, straight up and down. Get my hole here. Break the roots apart a little bit to give it a little head start on the structure. And, and that's perfect depth there. So it's right with the level. And stick my tag in here. And there's my last room of tomato planted. There we go. Looks good. Alright, I'm on my last plant here. It's a cherry tomato. And get my hole. Loosen the dirt a little bit. Bigger hole. Get it the correct depth. And see these guys want to lean over. So you want to make them stand up straight. Get our dirt. Get our tag in there. And there we go, guys. So I'm going to go give it a little shower of water. I'll be right back. All right, so that was 18 plants. They were a dollar and a quarter a piece. So you do the math. What is that? 250. And there's my all my plants for this year in my raised beds. And this is, I'd say, our third year doing it. And they work pretty good. So I got the water turned on now. I got it, my setting to shower. And I'm going to give them a water because they're kind of dry. Get this, see that guys? Look at the color difference. This stuff's nice. It's a mixture of sand, wood chips, mulch, um, topsoil, very little stones in it. So this is great for planting. Give them all a plant, uh, wash. And I wanna tell you, review what I got. So I got my aromas, my big tomatoes, my cherry tomatoes, I got the chives, the marigolds, the strawberries over there. I got jalapenos. I got orange and green bell peppers. I got cauliflower. And I got cabbage, broccoli, and cucumbers. So that's a pretty good selection. And all the vegetables I miss, I'm going to be using seeds for. I got about, I don't know, probably over 10 packets of seeds I'm going to be planting. And I'm going to have a whole variety of vegetables. So hopefully this grows good. So thank you guys so much for watching. And I'm going to be watering these daily so they're nice and refreshed and they grow good. So thank you guys for watching. Here's using garden raised beds for a garden. So uh, we'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks.